All right. Hey, y'all. Y'all heard my shoulder pop? I'm a little, oh, okay. So we're just waiting on Facebook to go live. Um, and then we're going to start our case study. I'm going to walk you through um, a client's journey. Hold on, we're just waiting on Facebook. To, okay. All right, so everybody is live. We have Facebook and we got Facebook down here, Instagram up there, as usual. Um, and we're going to be talking about case studies. So I do a lot of education, um, always putting out videos, etc. But I want to give you guys the proof that's actually in the pudding, right? So this is one of my students from the A to Z credit masterclass. And they have what's called a type C credit profile. So for a type C, that is going to be full credit repair, meaning they need to build as well as they need negative items removed from their file. And it was four or more um, items, negative items that were on their file that we wanted to work on getting removed. So I'm going to walk you through their journey. So they started in May, um, May 17th of 2020. I know it's going to be backwards on uh Facebook is showing up perfect. Instagram, I'm going to need y'all to get it together. <laughs> Even though I'm showing it like this, they're, they're giving it to me the right way. So as you can see, May 17th, um, I'm just kind of just showing it to um, to Instagram. I'm sorry, to Facebook, and then I'll read it off to you guys. May 17th, um, boom, they started off at a 570. So I know it's backwards on here, but, you know, we're going to learn how to read backwards up here right so may 17th um they started off at 570 so my goal when um i'm looking at a client file now mind you some of my clients that we're going to be doing case studies for i've done you know work for them under my old program but for this one specifically it's under that new program so um now we focus on a shared environment where we both do things together it's not just oh all the work falls on me and then they think that oh okay this is just such a easy process i mess up she'll fix it every time no i want you to know how to do some things for yourself this way if you ever get in a compromising position you don't always have to pay someone every single time when it's little things like little tweaks and small things that you can do to get yourself together so they started off at a 570 May 17th, um, by June 2nd, they had a one point increase, which of course, you know, boom, is when we're just getting started, which is pretty, um, pretty, uh, pretty small, you know, window for us to, you know, see major results because they had only been with me maybe about two weeks, right? Um, but they also had an inquiry removed from their report, which is amazing. Again, so Facebook, you can see that down here. Um, Instagram is a little difficult. Again, you know, we working backwards, but we learning how to read backwards, right? That's how we do it. <laughs> so by August, um, so when it came down to this particular file, it was a series of letters that had to go off. Um, so under the new program where we work directly with the collection agencies, um, it was, it kind of, it sped up the process a little bit, but remember we had a little bit of, you know, a little bit of lag time. So of course, we started off by uh, sending some letters off to the bureaus just to kind of open up the investigation, but we did not stay there. So after that, we then started sending off information or sending off letters to the collection agencies requesting proper validation. So by August 5th, um, she was up to 582. So not a huge big boost. However, look at one, two, three, four, five collection accounts that were moved. So when you see green, that means good. So when you're looking on Credit Karma, whenever you see green, that's good. Wherever you see yellow, that means it's a little bit of work that needs to be done. And whenever you see red, baby, honey, we need a full turnaround, right? Or whatever that part is. So as we can see here with green, not the biggest boost by points, However, really big um, movement when it comes down to collection account remove, collection account remove, collection account remove, etc. Now, the beauty behind this is what I try to tell people. Listen, it's not all about getting collection account or getting collection accounts removed. Yes, that is amazing. That's we love that, right? We love to see it, right? However, 
you got to think that that's not where your increase is always going to come from. A lot of times you have to, you know, add activity to your file, which is going to give you that initial big boost. And then it starts to pan out and become a steady movement um, as you introduce monthly activities. So it's not always about the negative um, items that are on your file that does not always have the highest impact. A lot of times you're going to need, yes, it looks great when you clear out, you know, those negative items. However, your utilization on what you're doing on a monthly basis is going to make the difference. So, you know, this was at, at, in the beginning when we first started, the only thing that she could do, because of course, sometimes when you're trying to build credit, it takes some money to invest in your actual file, um, you know, investing in different trade lines or investing in secure credit cards and things like that. So if you can't do that all, you know, right out the gate, you know, you have to do what you can. So that's what was going on here. We were removing some of those negative items so that she could get to where she needed to go. Okay, boom, move on to August 25th. This is when she started having that big initial increase to 56 point, in she had a 56 uh, point increase. This got her to a 638. Mind you, she started at a 570, okay? She started off at a 570. By August 5th, she is at, and that was May 17th when she started of this year. By August 25th of this year, she was at a 638, okay? 638. So let's take a look at what else is going on here. So Plaza Services um, collection account was removed. She had an account that was now opened. Um, then she had on-time payments that were being tracked. Now, y'all got to understand, and excuse my, you know, my fingers i took off my nails some of them kept breaking so we took them off so that we could have a little breather before we redo it so i just seen the little blue in the camera and that bothered me but hey neither here nor there <laughs> so one thing that i wanted to point out is another thing that we target is how we pay how often we pay and when we pay uh because that's going to be important why as you can see that's tracked during your during your history profile it's tracked and once i'm done um explaining it for instagram i'm gonna turn the camera around so you can actually read face forward you guys done a great job of reading you know from behind but we're gonna you know get you make sure that you can see it as well there so um yeah, so it's important that we track how we pay, when we pay, um, and how, you know, when, I said that, how we pay, when we pay, and how many times we pay. <laughs> That's important because that is tracked. So on here for one of the accounts, it said two payments made on time. This is the type of things that we like to see, especially when we're overpowering any late payments. So I told you guys in another video, when you stop paying on an account um, or if you had a, a late payment and then you just don't introduce any new activity, that hurts you more than it helps you. So one thing that you want to do is if you ever have a late payment, number one, try to get it removed. And if not, then overpower it. So those on-time payments where it's tracking two, uh, two payments made on time, what if she made more payments that were made on time? All of those would be tracked there. And she had some inquiries moved from her report as well. So to kind of keep up, May 17th, she started at 570. By August 25th, she was at a 638. Okay, boom. So I want to talk about um, how I love this part of her file where we see a little bit of small dips. You guys got to understand, when you're in your, when you're building your credit organically, you are going to have some small dips. That's inevitable. You can't get away from it, especially as you're getting used to your strategy, right? So say, for example, when you're on your credit journey and you have a late payment, you may see a dip. When you are, um, your utilization is higher than normal, you may see a small dip. When it's trying to adjust accounts, or let's say, for example, you're introducing a new account to your file and you had um, years you know, you hadn't introduced any new account in years. Now it has to create a new median for the age on accounts. So that may give you a small dip. In her instance, or in her case, she had a um, new collection account that came up in her file that kind of came out of nowhere that dropped her 32 points. So she went back down to a 606, but nothing to fret. We knew what to do 
right? So as you can see there again backwards, um, <laughs> a 32 point um, increase where she had that small dip, but nothing to fret. We know how to get that back up. So October 4, um, yeah, October 4th, she had a one point increase. And then October 17th, she had a 50 point increase. So adding, of course, 51 points, that brought her to a 657 by October 17th. Okay, great. So as she's still working on getting that new collection validated or you know removed, here's where we're um, here's where we're going from here. So by November um, November fifth, she had an update of six seventy two because she took um, initiative and really went in on her utilization. Right. So as she was waiting to hear back from collection agencies and waiting to hear back from validation on those debts. She um, made on-time payments and started working and attacking her utilization. So this is why, to date, she is at a um, 672 for TransUnion, a 656 um, on Equifax. So overall, to date, she had a 102-point increase on TransUnion and a 79-point increase on Equifax. Amazing, right? Amazing, amazing, amazing. And it's all because she used... The success strategy that we talked that we talk about in the master class. The success strategy is making sure that you're cleaning up your file, you're consistent, and these aren't in order. Um, making sure that you're paying on time, making sure that you're using your utilization, and this is how she is going to reach her goal of over a seven hundred. Really, her goal was in just to get over six fifty. Baby girl, you've exceeded that, right? So now we're now she has a new goal of getting to over a 700 and the reason why she's going to get there is because she is properly using the success strategy that i teach on in the a to z credit master class so again this is why i say taking charge of your own file is important because it's not a lot of work for her it's not like it's strenuous letters that she has to always send off to the credit bureaus um, and waiting to hear back from them and then trying to read through all those different parts, right? It's simple things that, hey, she sends off these letters that go to the collection agencies. They go to, um, you know, they go to the collection agencies. They come back. She sends them to me. I read over them. I make sure, hey, these are valid or these are invalid. Here's the next steps, right? So it's not something that she's 100% doing on her own. She has coaching. She has support. But she also has the success strategy that she's following and she has the education. Stop giving all of your power and stop giving all of your control over to these companies because you don't want to deal with it. Because these experts, and then you're getting upset at the expert because you've given them all of your power, but then you have questions and then you're not completely understanding that process, right? So you want to make sure that you're setting yourself up to where you at least understand what's going on. You have a portion of your hand in it, like you guys both have your hand in it, and you guys are understanding how the process goes. You ask questions, but you're also clear on what's going on. So you can stop thinking that people are scamming you. Because, yeah, not all these credit repair folks out here are you know honest fair and true so i get it but you do have a handful that you guys that i know some people get a hard time for you know um <laughs> they get a hard time for but it's just because you aren't your hand isn't in that pot as well so get your hand in the pot as well so that you can understand that process and do your part so that you can see increases like that again she had a 102 point increase on transunion a 79 point increase on um, Equifax and we're still working with things right we're still she's still in the program and we're still making our way um making our way downtown walking fast or walking accurately um, let's just say that <laughs> so this way um we can have all of those updates and and of course we'll do more case studies in the future so that you guys can come back and visit and once she gets over 700 you know we'll get you know we'll do more walkthroughs from there but one other last thing that I wanted to say is every single bureau is different. So you see how she had increase a separate increase on Equifax than she did on TransUnion. Experian is going to be something completely different because they are all three separate bureaus. And the way that we've gotten her strategy down, her Vantage scores 
and her FICO scores are looking cohesive. So everything is within the same range of score because we targeted, again, each air, each key area of utilization, payment history, um, and negative items so that the scores could look cohesive on the different models, FICO and Vantage. So that was our first case study. Super excited. Woohoo. Shout out to my A to Z credit masterclass students, knocking them dead, killing them right because uh, this student is on her way to her 700. So um, catch me next time. We have a pile full of case studies to go. <laughs> so stay tuned as we're going to be doing more case studies um, leading up into the new year. And of course, and just last thing before we close out, the A to Z credit masterclass. I don't know if you just seen my last post, but get to my last post so that you can turn on your post notifications for um, the A to Z credit masterclass. It's going to be going on sale next week for Black Friday. It will be a $25 grab, the best $25 investment that you could ever make into yourself because you get me forever literally <laughs> month to month coaching where we go in we deep dive we do more case studies we break down files and then some so i look forward to seeing you in the master class turn on your post notifications so that you'll be ready for the black friday sale next week bye guys